The way Tiki Galano ran the Olympics was quite amazing. The conditions were difficult. There was a monsoon style rain at the start of it. She took control of the conditions, a really great run, beat some quality athletes. That was a tough women's field and she certainly deserves to be Olympic champion. And I'm absolutely delighted okay, that we have both Olympic champions, both men's and women's Olympic champions here in London with us. With the Kenyan team, we've got Edna Kiplagat, who of course is the world champion. Quality athlete, long loping stride. She's got a lot more to offer. I think she can run a couple of minutes faster than she already has done. And I think she will be a factor in the race. To have the Olympic silver medalist Prisca Jepto in London is clearly a coup for us. She ran incredibly well in the Olympics. She clearly has class. The London course suits her. And I think there's a great competition within the Kenyan women at the moment for supremacy. And that's going to happen. Of course, Mary Katani at the moment is out of the equation because she's, she's, she's having a baby. So it's a, good, it's a good time for there to be a new champion on the block. We've also, of course, got Florence Kiplagat, who was fourth in London last year, but also had a great run in Berlin where she won the year before quality athlete, again someone who I think has got the class to certainly be on the podium here. Whether she can get past Edna Kiplagat and Priska Jeptu I've got a question about, but she'll certainly be there about. The Ethiopian in the field that we must give some credence to is Asili Baisa. She is likely to sit in and to let the Kenyans in particular dominate the race and just stay out of the way. She's a good tactical runner and it wouldn't surprise me to see her certainly stopping a Kenyan 1-2-3.